Hello everybody, Darkspine Sonic 3 here. In the last episode, we visited all four of our available levels, got four Shine Sprites, and now we're ready to tackle some more. Going back into Rico Harbor, we've got Gooper Blooper Returns. Oh, goody. I am so glad to fight him again. This is kind of chilling out on the helicopter pad. Oh yeah, Super Mario, uh, Super Mario's universe has, uh, helicopters now. Okay, we had the, the clown copter, but now we have an actual bona fide helicopter. Can't, can't use it, though. Just, wait a second, is that Rico? Is this Rico? Are you Rico? Seems that pass- Arr, seems that- Yeah, screw it. Seems that pesky blooper is back. Well, you just do your thing and you'll take care of it, I'm sure. Me, I'll be right here. Right here the whole time. That's Rico. That is so Rico. I know Rico. That is what Rico is. Something very important I'd like to point out right now about the blue coins and the hover nozzle. Um, when you grab it, when you grab a blue... Well, most of the time when you grab a blue coin, when you have the hover nozzle out and while you're using it, many people let go of the R button. If you keep using the R button, um, the hover nozzle will stay on. However, obviously it won't recharge its time for being used. So, my... My, pref my preference is, in Corona Mountain, there are nine blue coins scattered on a, uh, scattered across the lava. Um, what I like to do is I like to spin jump over to them, grab them, and then use the hover nozzle to come back to the central platform. It, it saves lives, people. Anyway, when we hear him whimper, he's done. Again. And we didn't even need to take off any of his tentacles. That's the uh, recommended thing to do. Where'd he go? He's kind of sank into the sand. Well, octopus babies do do that, I think. Anyway, with that being said, there's our first shine spray of the episode. That brings us up to a total of 18. I'm pretty happy with that. So now I think it'd be high time for us to uh, pay a quick visit to Peanut Park. Why? So why not? Peanut Park's fun. What, you got a problem with Peanut? Who's Rico? Seriously, I, I'm still curious as to who Rico is. Sounds like a nice guy. That captain was probably Rico. I can tell because he said it's a very Rico thing. The angle of that cannon kind of shot Mario up into the stratosphere, not the island. Red coins of the pirate ships. This one takes place inside the park, but it also has the, um... You're going to be riding those pirate ships over there, right in front of the Ferris wheel. It's not too tough. Um, these enemies, when they hit you, they'll actually steal your, uh, hat most of the time. I don't know why they're not doing it. I'm willingly letting myself get hit so that they can. I guess these are a different kind. Okay, so it's a different kind of, um floating Goomba thing. It's kind of disappointing. Because when they steal your hat, they actually grow a mustache and wear your hat. And uh, you kind of sort of die from heat stroke, I imagine. Because you don't have a hat to shield yourself from this uh, intensity 18 sun. Imagine it can get to an intensity of 120 with the number of shine sprites we're getting. So, first things first, I'm going to spray off that M graffiti, grab the blue coin, and we're going to head over to the pirate ships, which are right here, conveniently. 
Every third cycle, they revolve completely in a whole 360. I'm gonna grab this, because why not? I'm greedy. So, our mission here today is to grab the red coins. It's a pretty easy thing to do. Unless you're me. At this point, the blue coin is just begging to be grabbed. But I guess it won't let me. But there's a will, there's a way, and I am very greedy. Not as greedy as my brother, though. I remember we'd play Fantasy Star Online a lot. And he would... He'd get all the cool stuff, and I'd just be... I would be stuck with, like... Just like a saber. What a jerk. I'm not amused, CJ. I'm a human, too. Ah, well. Huh. <sighs> We had a lot of fun with that game, though. I kind of want to play that, too. I've actually never beaten it, because I'm not very good at RPGs, or online RPGs, or massively multiplayer online RPGs. I'm not good at anything. I'm playing Super Mario Sunshine. Oh, God! Don't scare me like that! Greed will be my undoing. If not basically anything else. I, I think a lot of things would be my undoing. So, I'm gonna go to the top of that uh, tower there. Why? There's a blue coin up there. You can probably see like half of it. I like blue coins. Hey, I did it! And there's another blue coin right up there. I shall save you for another time. I don't want to grab them all. If you ground pound on these enemies, they will simply fall. That's a very important thing because they will electrocute you. And if they hit you, you don't just take damage. You will fall. Um, regardless of anything, um, you will fall if you get hit. I mean, it, it feels like I didn't really need to say that, but it also felt like it needed to be said. And you can also use the A button while you're climbing up here to actually kill these enemies. Not gonna lie, they're kind of adorable. Even if they are extremely lethal and they throw their shell at you, but when you shock them, while their shell... If you um, spray them while their shell is out, it'll come back and it will electrocute them and murder them pretty brutally. But they'll have like their striped boxers and they'll fall over and die and release three coins and I think it's just great. It's funny. Huh. That one took a surprisingly long time. Probably because I was being so greedy. Oh well. That being said, Peanut Park is over, and now let's move on to uh, Bianca Hills. I don't. I'm. I'm saving Gelato Beach for last because that next mission is gonna make me cry. The legendary Sandbird. It sounds cool, but it's not. It's very painful. I'm not a big fan. Here we have the secret of the dirty lake. That lake's been very naughty. Sorry. Oh. Oh, the lake really is dirty. Sort of like the lake here in my ha in my town. It's kind of not very good looking. We are up to the seventh episode, or er, after this, we'll be up to the seventh episode of Bianca Hills. The seventh episode of every level will always be a Shadow Mario con confrontation. Um, basically, it's the exact same thing as when we fought him in Delfino Plaza. We just spray him, he dies, he gets a shine sprite. Whoa, you saved me. Thanks a bunch. 
He gives us blue coin. He's the mayor of the town. Apparently, he has that weird, some weird, like, motto where it's like, or some weird thing to say where it's just like, I've been slimed so many times, I'm like the mayor. Uh, I'm the president of the Getting Slime Club. It's kind of weird. Killing that... I don't know what it is anymore. I forget their names. I forgot the name of most of the, the enemies in the Mario universe, unfortunately. What I just got, and what I'm using now, is called the Rocket Nozzle. Obviously, it rockets you. At the speed of light, surrender now or prepare to fight. Meow, that's right. I am so greedy. This is good. Anyway, the entrance to our little secret cave is the Lake Spring area. I believe that's what it's called. Um, that is right over here. You'll see a gray box over there. And unlike the other gray box we encountered in a different episode, it's not transparent. And um, that's because in each level, the um, nozzles that, that you can use are disabled. But in a certain episode, there will always be a box that's open that you're able to use. Once you use it in that level, then it's unlocked throughout the rest of the level. And um, when you grab a nozzle, you keep that nozzle for the secret level if you play it through a second time. That's not very good for this level if you have the turbo nozzle. The turbo nozzle propels you really quickly, but it will kill you pretty quickly because uh, it will um, not be able to save you. And the most important thing about this level is that you need to have some sort of uh, safety net. The rocket nozzle or the hover nozzle. Hover nozzle, I feel, would be a better bet than the rocket nozzle. But honestly, you, could, you can't go wrong with either. You probably could go wrong. If you run out of water, maybe. Because there are no water refills in the uh, secret levels. These things will just slide you right off. It's kind of weird. Um, and these cubes, they will spin in more than just one direction. Sometimes they'll spin in two. And they'll go diagonally, like that. But overall, they're not too hard. And with that being said, you get two extra lives in this level. So if you wanted to, you could probably just kill yourself and go grab another one. Oh no. Whew. I'm cutting it too close. Hey, I did it! Ugh. I had a heart attack. I suppose we've got time for one more. We finally made it to 20 Shine Sprites, and we're doing so in, I believe, Episode 6. Probably. I lost count. Episode 5. Maybe. It doesn't matter what episode this is. The point is, we're having fun. You guys are having fun, right? I hope so. Because I think I've gone past that point of no return. I can't just stop. Anyway, here we are in the most distressful uh, level of the entire game. The Sandbird is born. I don't like the sandbird. It hurts me. Emotionally. Basically, after we killed Wiggler, very, very violently, I might add. I mean, we just pounded him in the sand. Um, this egg will hatch and we will be able to go inside of the egg and be transported to a world of... Birdemic, maybe where we actually ride the sandbird. Obviously, it's a bird made of sand. Except, it's, um, not cool. The physics on it are... The physics on it are very strange in a way that it, um... 
because you fall through it a lot if you're not careful. And when you're trying to also go for the blue coins at the same time, and try not to miss the last red coin, you are kind of... Uh, you're, you're multitasking in a very bad sense. But, see? I slipped on a flat surface. I hate this level. And that's very tough for me to say, considering I basically love this game. But, oh my god, this level makes me want to scream. It makes everybody want to scream, because the... Because the sandbird is actually moving. It isn't just like... Well, I don't really know what it, what else it would be. But the sandbird is actually moving. And so when you jump, you move. You go back. And if you, and if you get caught on the clouds like I just did, you might get pulled off. Which is why it's a good idea to spray the clouds. But then you can't see where the bird is. It's infuriating. And if you're not careful again, you might just fall off. Haha! <laughs> it's a win-win. So what I like to do, because I'm smart sometimes. No. Yes! No! No! <sighs> this level makes me feel so bad about myself. Why? The good news is we have six lives, and I think we've got it. I think we got all the blue coins, so I don't think we have to really worry. That Okay, we have to worry. We have to worry as much as possible. More than any human being should ever worry. I mean, like... You can also just grab that live, but it's... It's gone now. If you can't get it while there's a lot of bird, you're not gonna get it while there's just a little bit of bird. I'm I'm actually kind of confused as to why this bird makes these noises. Okay. I can do this. Hey, I did it! Oh, he's gonna, like... I'm gonna find a way to fall off. I hate how the bird has to do that. There's a very... There's a defined pattern for what the bird does. And apparently, that was just necessary. The physics on it are already crappy enough with you being constantly pushing in all directions. In terms of the air pushing at you, you pushing away from it and then everything else that's just getting in the way. Uh, but once you make it to the top of this tower, there is nothing left. You can wave that bird goodbye and you will not care. I do not care. As a matter of fact, I hope you turn into mud. Legend, I don't care. Ugh. I got a game over on that, and I had to start over from eight shine sprites. It's not fun. Anyway, with that being said, I am Darkspine Sonic 3. If you liked what you saw in this video, you can subscribe and comment what you want to see differently, and I will try to implement it in my next video. Your support has been very, very kind, if any. If you didn't like it, I'm sorry. It won't always be like this. I promise. I love you. Please don't go. However, for the time being, thank you for watching.